M0 FXB, so we're on the Yaesu FT991A. We've bought the RT system software. Once you get the software, you get you put in your email address, put in a special serial number, and then it, you can download it to your PC, and you end up with this window. And then for communication, you just go communicate, get data from radio. Now, connect your USB cable between your PC and the back of your radio. It's like a, like a PC cable. You can use really much any printer cable, but I recommend you use the one that's supplied by RT Systems. Then follow these instructions. Now the menu, it says here, get data from radio, and it actually gives you instructions. Now the menu number is, it's not 29 as it says here in the menu, although the board rate is correct. Now look on your, when you hit menu on your radio, go to menu number 31, and yeah, and it will be set to 4800, which is fine. Like I said, it's menu 31, tick that, and click OK, and then it will read the radio. I'm not going to read it again because I've just done it. Uh, and when it does read it, it will give you a, a new window. Because every time you read from the radio, you get a new window with RT Systems. So after reading the radio, you know, we've got a few memories in it already. So let's, let's just show you how to add my hotspot. So we'll just go 434.550, like so. There's no shift. Keep it simplex. Uh, we'll give it a name here. We'll just call it Hotspot. I know we've already added it before. Hotspot, like so. Uh, no, no, uh, no need for a tone on the digital hotspot. Select digital as well here. We want DN for digital. We shall find in a sec. Oh, there it is there at C4FM. So that's it. That's all selected now. And then we'll also see if we can add some repeaters in there. So we'll go File. External data, click repeater book search. We've got my address is Bristol, UK. And we'll do a radius of 10, let's do 20 miles, like so. Actually, let's go more, let's go 40 miles. Click OK. We've selected 6 meter, 2 meter, and 70 stems. And it very quickly finds this. Now, to get this into your radio, all you do is, these are all the repeaters, of course. Click create file for 991 here at the bottom. You get this new tab up here. Now we want to copy and paste this. So just put your mouse here like so, or you could just select go control A, so control A, and it should select everything. Then go to edit, copy, then go to the tab where we've got a few of our memory channels again, and select the top one, and now go control V, and it will paste them all to your radio. And now all you've got to do then is send it back to your radio. So go send data to radio. And click OK. It says here about menus. Now, you don't have to send menus every time. Menus are the radio settings at the top. So we can untick that for now. Um, so click OK. And then we'll give it a minute to transfer. So it takes a couple of minutes. So then at the end, it says turn off the FT991 and turn it back on. So we'll turn it off. And then we'll turn it back on. Let's see if we can see these memory channels. Obviously, there's so much more that you can do with this program. If you look here, you've got settings, radio menu settings. There's going to be vast settings for radio like this. Operation mode, group monitor. Uh, what's that one? Does that just close? External settings, tabs, that. You've got preferences here. So if we go down to preferences, there's all different preferences that you can make with this software. What you want it to show, what you want it to do. Okay, right, let's just, just hit the mem mem memory button, so VFO memory, and let's just, just cycle through now. Just hit the MCH button on the shortcut screen if you need to, to use the, to scroll through memories. And look, they're all there. No, oh, it's gone too far now. Sorry, my fault. Memory. Maybe we just go, put the old fast tune on. So we go into memory, like so. We'll get the, uh, let's just turn it through. The main thing I'm saying is that, look, there's hundreds of memories there now, where before there was hardly anything. Well, not hundreds. There's as many as was on my, was on my program. As you can see, with all the names and everything and tags. So 7.3, thanks for watching. You've seen how to copy and paste. You've seen how to import from repeater book. There's lots of other things, communication, settings, and of course, no, actually this radio, no SD card. So that's a bit of a pain. So thanks for watching my channel. I will do some more detailed you know, videos on this. So it looks like we only put in 40 anyway. 
Uh, and uh, seven three, all the best. Catch you on 